What up, guys? T Makes here bringing you What's Cracking 99, and today we are here with. <laughs> really excited for that 99. Kuda! Right? Uh, dude, I, I got chills. Okay, I got chills when you said 99. That's what I, that's what I like to do with the intro. I like to wake you up. When you... I wasn't sleeping, but no, if not... I was. It could sorry. be a listener. It could be a listener. <laughs> I want them to be like, holy shit. I'm I'm into it. I'm listening. Holy shit! I was gonna go to sleep while listening to this podcast, <laughs> and oh my god, kicked my balls, bro. Ninety nine problems, son. Kicking That's... you in the balls. Ain't one. Yep. Sweet luck here, obviously. And gangster, and we are back from our Christmas holiday vacation, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys had a good one. How did you? How was your holiday vacation, guys? It's you guys actually good. went away. I didn't do shit. Didn't do you shit. stayed there in Canada? I stayed, yeah. Did it snow? Of course. Build a snowman? <laughs> I did not build a snowman. Did you make a snow angel? Did you think about the song, do you want to build a snowman? Did you make a snow slushy? No. I shoveled snow. That did you a... write your name in the snow with your piss, dude? Did you like, no, yeah. I've never done that. You've what? never done that? Oh my god, dude. That's all I've, I've wanted to do. I've done that and it rarely snows here. What the heck, dude? <laughs> I haven't done it, but I've really wanted you to. You have had a lot of piss. You had a pretty long name. You can't shorten yours either. Eh, you make it work, bro. It is like really or something. It's really bad cursive. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not gonna start and stop. You know, get some space between them letters. Uh uh-uh, uh it just flows. <laughs> capitalize <laughs> the first letter. Did I capitalize it? Uh, I think I did. Was it all capital? I don't remember. All capital cursive? That's like, that would take you 10 years to write it out, bro. <laughs> it would. That'd yeah. be rough. God, I couldn't even, like, tell you how to write, like, half of the fucking capital letters in cursive. Like, what the fuck's a G? That does not look like a G, all right? I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't remember the whole alphabet. I just remember a couple letters. R, S. It was dumb. It was dumb. You remember the easy ones? <laughs> S was not e. S I remember it because I had the most trouble with the fucking capital S or lowercase. Lowercase. Lowercase is the easiest. The yeah, but it's the it's weird. It doesn't look like an S. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But. Yeah. Whenever you do your fucking assignment, it's like I remember we'd do like spelling things, and I kept having to do that. So I'm like, is it good now? No, do it again. Is it good? Now? <laughs> Wasn't it so useful that they taught you cursive, bro? Like, no, it's a waste. Don't you just like never use it? Like Great. French. Like French. Yeah. Hey, you're in Canada. There's French Canada. Yeah, there's like, French right Canadian. Canadian. All I know right. is Je m'appelle. And really, Spanish. my name, Je m'appelle. My name. Really, that's all you got out of all your classes. Bonjour, Je m'appelle. Merci beaucoup. Uh, vendredi. I think that's Friday or some shit. Yeah. It was like you didn't learn anything, obviously. I didn't learn shit. It's because I didn't uh, care. I don't care either. It's just I learned enough to pass. Dang it, me too. Me too. I'm not yeah, gonna go and talk to all the French folks in France, but you know I can say hi and. I'd like to go to Friday. Friday. I don't. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Friday. I can say hi and Friday. It. <laughs> if it's all Thursday, I'm fucked. <laughs> no conversation builders. Yeah. I will know everyone's name and say thank you. And that's where the conversation ends. <laughs> and you're gone. <laughs> then Friday and poof, I'm done. <laughs> so when we meet on Friday, cool. All right. I mean, how many um, random people do you actually talk to anyway? Like, so unless yeah. you know somebody who's French and that they don't speak All English. You mean, <laughs> yeah, you're just walking down the street. You lock eyes bonjour. with a complete stranger. Gets weird. You got to say something. Hey, bonjour. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> like he starts talking to you, and you're just like, eh, eh, Don't eh, you hate eh, that when you're, like, walking down the street, and then you lock eyes with a stranger? And it's see, like... I don't live in a big city, so I don't walk down the street. I've got to say something to him. I drive everywhere. You don't lock eyes with somebody while you're driving, and then, you know... <laughs> Only if I know the person. Then I do it just to creep them out. Like, I was at the red light, and then, quick. uh... Do you honk? Or do you... No, I, I just stare. Just oh. to creep them out. What a weirdo. Like, 
I just stare for no reason. And it freaks them out. Next time they see me, they was that you? I mean, I obviously know it's me because my car is very recognizable, but still. Yeah, it's like light blue. Yeah, it's a bright blue Mustang. Hard to miss. <laughs> yeah, if you ever commit a murder, you're pretty boned. Yeah, I saw I thought about I was like, if I ever, like, street race, and I, even if I do <laughs> outrun the cops, like, I'm so boned because there's only three other cars around here like mine, and they're not even the exact same. They're a V8, one's a V8, one's a convertible, and one has black rims, I think. Are they the same one color? Like yeah, they're all the same color, but one's oh. a convertible, so it has a black top. One's a V8, so it's, it has the V8 thing on the side of it. And then I think the, there's only one that's like mine, the V6. So. Pretty good could, odds. One answer. I, I mean, not really. <laughs> they're all going to visit. They're going to visit each one, so. It's got a high tail to Mexico, bro. <laughs> yep, I guess. Yeah. Or France. Or France, yeah. Don't go to France. I don't think you can drive there, but you should go. Uh-huh. I could drive there. I got it. You, get it. you can get to Quebec, all right? It's like as close to France as anybody, you know, any sane person would want to go. But Yeah, yeah but who wants to go to Quebec? <laughs> um, I don't. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> we got something. Y'all have so much in common. Like, y'all should mm-hmm. kiss Maybe later. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. Depends how the night goes. A <laughs> little too much drinking from Kuda, you know. Yeah, you gotta buy me dinner first, right? You just ate. I don't care. He's you currently eating. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh my god. I'm sucking Snack. on a sucker. Is no, sucker I'm okay? Not. Is sucker okay? Uh, referring to a like a little candy to suck on a sucker. I am yeah. sucking on a piece of chocolate. Like a runner. Like your runner. It's not a runner. God, <laughs> so annoying. A shoe is not a runner. All right, sorry. You're right. Like, hey, I gotta go put my runners on. I'll be right there. No. <laughs> what? I'd be like, no what are you talking that. about? <laughs> <laughs> my runners. What? The I f- think you're gonna put on like some special shoes with wheels on them or something. Like. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking I think about. Think you're putting on like... skates. Goddamn Americans. Like, why does he have to rearrange his house to come? Like, you know, see me? Like, I don't fucking understand. I don't get it. We can never answer the quick. Like, I don't know how we trailed off so early. I'm like, hey, how's your, how's your? Oh, that was great. Just start with me questioning you about yours. It just went. Pew. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly what happened. You were like, how's your vacation? I didn't go anywhere. And then Pissing he was like, the was there snow? And then we were like, we started talking about snow. Sure. And, and then it was cursive. And then use other uselessness like French. Yeah. yeah. See? I think that's how it went. How's your holiday? Easy. Right. How's your holiday? Would you get? Would you go? Would you get me? Or what didn't you get me? I got you don't starve together. Right. Yes, which is complete bullshit. Because if you listen to the last What's Cracking, we made a bet <laughs> saying, hey, if the forest is less than... You could have gotten it for five bucks. I don't have a shot. Buy it for you. You could have gotten it for five bucks. And if it's more than ten dollars, I win the bet. And you have to buy me some. You could have bought it for five bucks, dude. I don't want to hear it. Forest ended up going on sale. But it was ten dollars and four cents. Which means I it's won. Five the bucks in Russia, bro. It was five bucks in Russia. We went by U.S. dollar. Someone. Uh, don't matter. You could have paid Someone five bucks U.S. dollars and got it in Russia. All right, I don't care. And then he never got me my game, so I said, "Hey, you can buy me Don't Starve Together and give me that I copy." Me. Don't Starve Together. Right. He, he didn't want to give it to me. He held it hostage, like a complete. <laughs> he did hold what? it hostage. I was there. He I did, did not hold it hostage. I said, I'm not going to give it to you until we're ready to play it because you're an asshole and you'll play without me. All right? I would never. Let's hold it hostage, bro. I've been waiting to play Mount Your Friends for like a year and a half. And then you played yeah. it again the other day. Fuck yeah. All right. It was just a lag test. Uh-huh, sure. Lag test, uh-huh. We didn't use any swinging wieners. It's fun. 15 minutes lag test, uh-huh. You know how long I've been waiting for them swinging wieners? All right. Don't worry, gangster... Fu- found out last night that he doesn't like Sid Meier games and how many hours did you put into it gangster let's see let me go to my I don't know library it'll tell well, we me we did while Kudo was talking so this is like uh, two hours we played for like almost two hours or felt yeah like... we played for two hours holy fuck yeah it I was surprised you guys were on it. like as long as you were I was like holy shit it's like five in the afternoon and they're fucking we got stuck. I think we were 70 turns in so we weren't even that far in yeah. Sid Meier's Shop. civilization I've never played. beyond earth I've never played. Yeah, it's a turn-based it's... strategy. So, yeah. I actually figured he'd give it a shot, and I was like, "All right, I'll play with you." All right, back stop. on topic. How did Christmas go? 
<laughs> we're never gonna get through this. Topic. That's true. Yeah, we're never gonna get through the top. Uh, my Christmas was pretty good. I got clothes because I didn't ask her for anything because I didn't really want anything. So my parents got me clothes and not even a PS Quattro. Not even a PS Quattro. I didn't really want that. Damn. I don't know why. She didn't feel like because I don't even pee my ah. I don't even pee. I don't even play my PS. <coughs> I'm just mostly playing. And the only thing I felt like I would have bought for it was like just the big AAA titles and then Little Big Planet and then that been about it. So I was like, eh, no, if I want it, I'll buy it later. And then we went to Texas and stayed there for the yeah. New Year. Huda did not come and see me, unfortunately, because he's Fuck a douchebag. you, I flew 5,000 miles across the planet. You couldn't have come a couple hundred? I don't want to hear 1, it. 1,000 miles, thank you very much. Okay, I think I beat you by, like, 4,000 miles. <laughs> but you were flying. I was driving. It was much worse. Dude, I also drove for, like, a fucking 1,000 miles. I drove across Texas, like, three times while I was there. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so that was mine, and then we came back uh, the second I think, and then I just hang out at my house. And my brother came uh, before we left to uh, Texas, and he brought his girlfriend and whatnot. So we got to see them for a little while, and then they flew up to Philadelphia to be with her family for New Year's. Did you do anything uh, special for New Year's? <laughs> Any no. traditions? Just the normal tradition, you know, which we already had all this kind of crazy conversation, which was uh, in our family. I don't know how common it is. Uh, it holds silver going into the new year for good luck. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. It sounds pretty uh, ridiculous. I'm gonna it sounds it. like I could see like people doing it, but I've never fucking heard of it before. Like... Holding yeah. silver into the new year. Bring you good luck. I never heard that shit. I heard you gotta eat black eyed peas and you gotta get a kiss. You gotta you gotta get New Year's kiss. You get a New Year's kiss, sweetheart? You get a kiss? No, I'll kiss somebody. Family. God, you will kiss family. Forever alone this year, 2015. All right. Holding a piece of silver or gold as a New Year begins is said to increase the chances of prosperity in the coming year. Some place a silver coin over the doorway or a penny in the uh, window sill. Window sill. I wish I had found that shit out. I had something else interesting to tell my students. I was like, yep. I was basically uh, party, 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 party. That's all. Yeah, we just do. hold silver going into the New Year's. You did on your holidays, just party, party, party. That's all he does. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been drinking like forever. God. I know. I'm proud of you. You got your it's... one week little token. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not considered alcoholic in Japan. You're just, like, you know, normal. And you're like everybody else. That's the problem. They're enabling you. Oh, dude, Japanese people drink fucking so much, God. Anyway, my holiday was pretty good. I got a ticket to ride all the way to... <laughs> yeah, that's not a good way to start that. I got a ticket. <laughs> yeah, a ticket to ride, bro. Ticket. What are you talking about? Ticket? Oh, like a fucking traffic ticket. Traffic, no, traffic ticket. ticket. Ticket for Louis to ride. No. No. Just soliciting sex. No. Yeah, I was. <laughs> but I didn't trying get to get a hooker. Anyway. Um. No. No. I went to Texas for for Christmas and New Year's. Spent Christmas with my family. I had like three Christmases. It was. It was I ate That's way nice. too much turkey. It was crazy. It was, it was not good for me. Their plan was to make it so I couldn't fit on the plane, so I'd have to stay forever. That was that's what I eventually. Yeah, what? No, I'm, I'm, I'm back here in Japan. <laughs> but uh, They failed. Yeah, I spent Christmas with my family. I ate a ton of food that I can't eat in Japan because, you know, apparently that's So what was your favorite food. meal while there that you couldn't get in Japan? Oh, it's a good uh, one. God, so many. Now, which family member did you miss the most? <laughs> I'm not choose answering that wisely. question. Uh, yeah, because anyway, they're listening. So my... We told them about this. Dude, it's hard enough to choose my favorite fucking meal. All right? it was fucking... <laughs> what was the first thing you ate when you got back then? Oh, the first thing I ate? Oh, we went to this nasty Chili's, dude. It was like Chili's on New the uh, Christmas Eve, whatever, not New Year's Eve. Christmas Eve. It was the 24th. And uh, it wasn't at night. It was like... Fuck, it was like one in the afternoon when I finally got back to the States. And it was just so gross, dude. Everything was salty as fuck. I don't know if my taste buds have changed or what, but the food was just like... Ugh, it was a welcome so to gross. America kind of meal. Yeah, I know. I was like, no, I can't. This better not be like forever. <laughs> like, oh my God, yeah, no. 
but it wasn't. I had I had some decent food, some decent Mexican food. Oh my god, Mexican food. Oh, I love Mexican you miss food. It. I, yeah, I do. I miss Dude, tacos. Texas has some quality Mexican food. I had me someone else there. It was good. Uh, you're in North Texas. That's Probably not even North East Texas. North Texas. <laughs> Whatever, <East> Texas. dude. <laughs> Anything above Austin, I think that's when the Mexican food starts to start. It to was suffer. good. It was an authentic Mexican restaurant. It was really good. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. So. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I had Los Robertos tacos, carnitas with uh, pico de gallo and guacamole and shit. Oh my god, that right there. Did you get to drink? Oh fuck! I don't even remember. Probably just water. Give us this whole fucking. It's most likely beer. Meal. <laughs> no, it was water. <laughs> I didn't drink once while I was over there. No, I did for New Year's. See? I had some wine. Mm-hmm. No, I had wine on New Year's. Wine. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, God. One of those big old glasses because you know you're only allowed one hey, glass. Hey, it's supposed to be healthy for you. I it's have like, like three it's glasses. Really it's like you. teenage kids in <laughs> France that fucking drink that shit. Like, literally. <laughs> Which one? Think about I, I don't it's know. It's because the legal age is like 15 over there. There's no legal age. <laughs> they, they know they know what they're doing. But uh, yeah, so I had a lot of food, a lot of fun. Spent New Year's with my girlfriend. That was it was great. Too short though. It was way too short of a time. Aww. But, yeah. No, thank <laughs> you for your aww. Right. I'm gonna do. <laughs> Wasn't gonna but, be yeah. me. <laughs> <It was. laughs> Yeah, it was really great. It was just way too short. And, you know, I miss everybody. And... Mm. How did they take the good hours. news? The good news. The yeah, good news. you're going to be another year in Japan. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, it wasn't totally good news. I mean, oh. <laughs> I mean I'm mean, i happy, you know, ish. <laughs> Happy-ish. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They're sad, but, you know, they're happy. I'm living my dream and shit, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, wasn't too bad. Yeah, I had a good time. I really hate traveling for 24 hours at a time, though, by train, plane, and automobile. You think That's the plane was going to go down at any point? Fuck no, <laughs> dude. On my way to the States, I had wished it would a fucking couple times. This Japanese lady with Tourette's fucking yelling <laughs> in the back of the plane the whole time, dude. Just, no, 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 And I'm just like, what the fuck is she saying? <laughs> Who's she arguing with? I'm like, oh, my God. She <laughs> legit she had for, like, Tourette's? There was something wrong with her, dude. She had some kind of mental disability. I don't know what she was saying, but she would just repeat the same, like, five things over. You wish the, te- or the fucking plane crash dude eight hours in and i can't sleep because this lady's literally screaming at the top of her lungs at the back of the plane literally like seven or eight rows back holy fucking shit yes i wish the plane had gone down i you was like ready or anything? uh yo i had headphones didn't fucking matter dude this lady was screaming and nobody would do anything about it screaming? Like, dude yes she's fucking well not screaming but talking as loud as humanly possible before, like, reaching that screaming moment. But she was close enough to me where I couldn't fucking drown that shit out. She was using out. her outdoor voice. <laughs> yes, definitely <laughs> using her outdoor voice. Holy shit. I wish I knew what she was saying, though, because I was just like, what is so damn important? What's funny? Like, <laughs> I, it was at first, because, like, she just, she just kept saying stuff, and I'm like, I thought she was having an argument. But two hours later, she's still going. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, there's something wrong with this lady. Oh my god, she was like an older Japanese lady. I was like, I've I'm never seen a Japanese person understand, so well. understood her. And she's like, I'm gonna make this ride terrible for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> the entire time. Maybe, dude. I don't know. I was just like, fucking. I was ready. I was like, okay, take me now. Let's go. Let's bring this fucker down so I don't have to hear this shit anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, Holy dude. Shit. It was so fucking bad. Oh. It's a good story. <laughs> Fuck that lady, dude. That's all I'm saying. Oh man. God. No, the plane ride back was much, much nicer. Bigger plane, not as many people on it. I had no one sitting next to me. I was able to like stretch out. Yeah, it was it was great. It was great. Now you're no back Jeff, in shitty Japan. Lady. Oh yeah, back in shitty Japan. I'm back in wonderful, wonderful. Was it Japan. like on the roads? Uh, it freaked me out a little bit. I didn't drive because <laughs> I didn't want to have to like readjust the driving and then have to switch back. 
but every time we'd make like a turn, I'd be like, oh my god, we're on the wrong side of the road, and it freaked <laughs> me out a little bit. And yes, yeah, there's a couple things like that. Like I'd be getting in on the wrong side of the car. Uh, I bet your family was just laughing at you, like you moron. No, I only did it like once, and then, and then when we went to the Chili's, there was like nobody at the front of the restaurant, and I almost screamed at them, like in Japanese, like <laughs> to come to the front because that's what you do in Japan. You like you, you don't scream, but you say it really loud so everybody can hear you. Use your outdoor voice. Yeah, you're like, Sumimo san! And I almost, like, fucking yelled it, and I was like, oh my god, I had to tell my brother. I was like, I almost just fucking yelled in this restaurant. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. He's like, I'm from Japan, it's okay. That, we went to a convenience store, and this lady that was behind the counter was talking with a friend of hers. She didn't realize we walked in. She was, like, telling some story about how one of her friends fucked her boyfriend or something. Like, she was like, I don't know, she said something about, like, anal, like, Oh, like, <laughs> like he had me he had in the butt and doing anal and shit. And then, like, we went to the counter. And we we're just looking at her. And she was like, "Oh my god, I didn't realize you came in here." I was like, "Oh my god, only in America, only in fucking America." <laughs> Where it's <laughs> at. Holy shit, dude! I was like, "This." So, is... what did she do to her friend? <laughs> I don't know. I want to know, know the end of this story. I know you like seen... walk out of, and then she's like, "I didn't know you were." <laughs> I'd be like, well, can you finish your story? I'm curious now. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, she's still your friend? I mean, what? What's going on? Yeah, like, do you look at her weird knowing that she took it in the butt? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. What these are questions you gotta ask. Uh, That'd be so no. awkward. I was so tired, dude, getting off that plane. It was literally like half an hour after I got off the plane because we had to go get gas or something. And I was just like, I don't need this shit right now. God damn it. Americans being American. God damn it. <laughs> Would your family get you for Christmas? Uh, well, the plane ticket that was that was the big one. <laughs> that I paid my ride. Yeah, it was like thirteen hundred bucks. Uh, and I got a bunch of clothes because I told them I didn't really want anything except clothes and maybe money to pay my student loans because I don't want to put yen in my account because the yen's still tanking. It's slowly, it's slowly getting more valuable so like yeah i've recouped about 500 bucks out of the 2000 i lost but uh yeah so they gave me money clothes that's about it that's about it yeah. so would Got now be up. a good time to invest in the yen uh no it would be a good time if you wanted to like visit japan if you wanted to like train change your dollars into the yen, yen you'd be cheap. yeah but I wouldn't invest in the yen. That's no, that's not a good time. <laughs> uh, no, hold on. Investing in any currency is good. Uh, it can be. People, it, it's like gambling. People can make a lot of money really quick, or in most cases, lose like everything yeah, really what do you mean quick. It affects that. Like, I have no I idea. I've been trying so to f- weird. I've been trying to figure this shit out. Oh my god, did it dip again? Hold on. I'm checking the yen it's exchange rate. Just like some right old now. man in a dark room. It's got like a globe. Spins the globe, lands on a country, and says, your dollar is shit now. I don't even understand what messes with the American dollar. (laughs) Oh, fuck, I don't know either, dude. But, yeah, the yen was going up, 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 and now it's slightly down again. I'm just like, fuck, make up your damn mind. I was, like, so close to cashing out. But, yeah, no, I don't know. We don't even go off the gold anymore, do we? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm pretty sure we're not gold standard anymore, so I don't know what we could do. Yeah, I've been trying to figure this shit out, and it's just, like, completely fucking random as far as I can see. <laughs> I know there's, like, different factors that play into it. Like, I know why the yen started to, like, lose its value, but I don't know what's causing it to, like, fluctuate day to day by, like, two or three percentage points. Like, I don't fucking know. I just know I I want my money. <laughs> I want my money to not be as worthless as, you know, they're making it. <laughs> I thought you liked it being worthless. No, no. It was good when I moved here, but now you know I'm like looking forward to moving back. I need dollars. So. Are you saying you dropped the Japanese dollar, the yen? You made it plummet by going to Japan. Way to go, Kuda. I would what? You made their money worth crap because you moved there. No, I didn't make <laughs> their money worth crap. God. Stupid You're like we have this American here. over here now. That's what he said. He said when I got yeah, there, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, that no, shit. <laughs> like a virus, could it's just getting worse. Get out of there. Okay, yeah, because the other, you know, three, four thousand Americans that came to, you know, live in Japan, they didn't do anything. No effect either. whatsoever. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> You're secretly so. hacking and changing the numbers. We all know. Well, me. Yep, yep. Anyway. Uh, I have a little, little test for you guys. Which you, are you guys good at uh, tongue twisters? Very. Very good. Oh. I am exponentially great at tongue twisters. Sweet luck. I'm all right. I'm not crazy good or anything. Well, the I'll researchers go. at Throw the down. Massachusetts Institute of Technology have developed the most oh, difficult the mastered, yeah, tongue right, twister. Right. It's pretty ever. difficult. I mean, after about 20 tries, I got it. And I could do it like five times in a row. But That's not yeah. fair. You, he's got to practice. I've never seen this shit. It's rough. Well, he won't be taking the test. Yeah. Oh, good. It's only six words. Okay. Yeah, it came thinking... out when I was in Texas, and then my little cousin was like, here, try this. I was like, why the freak is... And it was because of... Uh... I couldn't remember why. It's the but, D's, yeah. right? Let me see it. That is weird. That is, it's that the is... DC sound. It's like the most difficult sound to make. I and think. apparently, if you can say this ten times quickly, you get a prize. I guess they'll contact <laughs> you or whatever. So, the, the tongue twister goes, Pad Kid... Poured curd. Poured curd, pulled cod. Yeah. Pad kid, poured curd, pulled cod. It's hard because the D's and the C's, the K sound, the D, K, it's bad. It's awkward. Kuda's going to take this challenge. It's D, it's D, <laughs> it's the D, K, and then the D P sound. So it's really hard to alternate back and forth. God, I can't wait to blow some Japanese kids' minds with this shit. <laughs> I love making them do tongue twisters, dude. Like it's it's fucking it's hilarious. It's gotta be hilarious. To watch. Here, let's oh, give this yeah. a go. Sweet, you first. Pack kid, pork cured, pool cod. You said no, cured. like try and do it as many times until you. Oh, as many as I can. Fuck it up, yeah. I'm gonna mess up in like three. Pack kid, pork cured, pulled cod. 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 Pack kid, pork. That <laughs> messed up. It's curd. You keep saying like cured, like you're you're. You're not, not done seeing the curd, curd. Sorry, you give it a shot. <laughs> oh, you, uh, uh, you go for it, guys. You go okay, for it. Let me, let me take a drink real quick. Yeah, that's what I did. I had to drink me some water. Yeah, yeah that's the hardest, your, the hardest. Your part tongue will literally get curd. twisted up on this one. Will I yeah. choke and die? Is Looks there a really chance weird. I could choke and die? Right. No, uh, you'll be fine. If you're drinking and talking at the same time, maybe. We'll call uh, 119 if you do. 119, yeah. that's the Japanese 911, yes. I mean... I wouldn't know what to tell him after that. Just like, Bond her, D. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's great. Tell them Friday in French. Yeah. <laughs> That'll help out. Yeah. Right. That it's Sunday. Whatever. Pad kid, port curd, pulled cod. Pad kid, port curd, pulled cod. Pad kid, port... But I fucked up. Yeah. It's, it's hard. Uh, I was... I had a good rhythm there. Yeah, I thought you were going to go the distance, bro. I was about I to call... I got two. Uh, MIT or whatever, you know, fucking... Yeah, Massachusetts. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's, yeah. I can beat Sally sells seashells by the seashore. That one's not even hard. Woodchuck is the easiest. Woodchuck, how much, woodchuck, yeah. could, what? How much <laughs> woodchuck, chuck, woodchuck, could chuck, what? That's the easiest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember one. One of them was really cool. It was, like, about horse races or some shit. It was, like, one 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 two 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 one one. Like, I don't know. It was weird. It was, like, all the different ones and, yeah, twos. <laughs> It's great. Oh, anyway, all right. Well, I guess I'll try. Right. You're <clears throat> Come on, Mr. English teacher. You got this. <laughs> this is hard. Hey, God. It's really my first time seeing it, too. You assholes both had practice time. You, you can say it a few times. Get accustomed to it. Uh, all right, let's see. Pad, kid, poured, curd, pulled, cod. All right, pad, Tell us kid. when you're going to go full yeah. black. I'm going to steadily speed up, right? That's, that's how you do these tongue twisters, right? I'm pretty right. sure they give you, like, an allotted time. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a pretty ambiguous rule. Yeah, otherwise you can do say it, it fast. slowly. Yeah. yeah, ten times. So. Uh, pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Pad kid poured curd. <laughs> <laughs> pad kid poured curd. God, my brain just goes derp when I see the curd. Pad kid this poured curd pulled bird. cod. Pad kid poured. <laughs> a weird bird. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, all right? Oh. <laughs> you don't like it. Uh, packet what? pork or cold pot. <laughs> That's something you can share with your uh, your Japanese students. Oh, yeah, dude. I can't wait. Lucky I'm, them? Love... There's no R's in there. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a poured. Uh, oh, there's a poured. There's a curd. There's two. Oh, there's <laughs> And there's a double L, okay? They can't, they can't <laughs> do their L's and R's, dude. It'd be pad, kid, pearled, curled, pearled, cod. <laughs> you have to record uh, and put it on YouTube. Oh, God, no. That'd I can't record funny. my students. That would without... go viral. That'd be a viral video right there. <laughs> yeah, oh, Japanese, Japanese students, 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 students world's tongue hardest tongue twister. <laughs> Viral. Oh, dude. Uh, for them, you just make it like Ricardo ran. Extra credit. <laughs> extra credit. You want extra credit? Come to this, like, you know, empty classroom and record tongue twisters for me. All right? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be pretty good, yeah. Oh, no God. teachers allowed. Uh, oh, I okay. actually just heard about. I was going to say this for the movie stuff, but I just uh, read an article about some teacher that got arrested. For uh, showing the class the ABCs of death. <laughs> That's the world's coolest teacher right there. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. Was this high school or Yeah, high high? school students. Oh, okay. That's what's and he got arrested. He got, like... Yeah, he's convicted of a felony. What felony? Was it, like, showing a movie, like... Dissimenting well, it's rated R in their matter age. harmful to juveniles? Yeah. What? <laughs> They're under that 18, is... and it's a rated R, right? So they got to be 18. Yeah, they oh, range from 14 to 18. Oh, my God, dude. That's oh. not a movie you show in a fucking class. That's not kidding? something you get a fucking felony conviction that, yeah. for, dude. That means he can't fired. buy a firearm. He can't fucking vote. He's, like, probably never going to find a job ever again. Like, yeah, because a he showed a, a fucking yeah. movie. I agree. Holy. He should have just lost his job. Fuck. Oh my god. Don't show any movies. <laughs> I don't show movies fucking period. Dude. Well, I show you YouTube can, videos sometimes. You can record cause... the kids. Just don't don't show them. No, movie. I can't record the kids. I can't. Maybe it's against not. the law for me to put any like of the my students on the internet without like written permission from their parents or some shit like that. Really? Yeah, I remember uh I think I did some work with uh, a younger class and I had to sign a uniform that I wouldn't, like, take pictures with them without parental consent and shit, and they had to get parental consent if I wanted to take a picture with them. <laughs> well, I can take pictures of my students and Very videos. Because I've done that. I just can't put it on the internet. Like, I can't yeah, put it on... Yeah, he can't do it. They can. He can. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... so, I thought that was a fucking funny article. That, <laughs> felt that is like... fucking ridiculous, dude. That makes me fucking pissed. I hate the fucking U.S. prison system. Yeah. It's a bit messed up, yeah. But I remember watching that movie and how it made me felt, so. And if a teacher showed me that, that'd be. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, Dude, awesome! If a teacher showed me that, instantly the coolest teacher in the school. Fuck no. I mean, no. I'd love that teacher. I'd be Fuck. like, bro, you want to hang out after school? Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go out to the bar. your job. I think we just became best friends. I'm just, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a cool dude. Well, there you go. Chill with him in prison. <laughs> nah. <laughs> He's got that's plenty of friends there, I assume. Stupid, dude. That's so fucking stupid. Uh, did he actually go to jail? Did it say he went to jail? Or did he get, like, probation or some shit? Uh, probably pleaded out for I, a deal. I mean, yeah, but if he was convicted, that means he pleaded it out for fucking... A felony conviction? That's fucking... Nuts. Something oh. like that, you have to plead out, because there's no way they're going to find you innocent. The jury convicted the guy of four felony counts carrying possible oh, jail oh. sentences. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, he didn't so plead he, that shit out. He, he fought. Why? There's, you're not going to win a case like that. You have to plead out. And apparently the jury had to watch the movie. <laughs> wow. They're like, free movie night! <laughs> Hey, people hate jury duty. <laughs> if I, that was my jury duty, I'd go all the time. I'd be disgust. I'd be like, I watched this shit already. It's a terrible fucked up movie, and uh, I'm not watching. Was it, it one or two? Was it one or two? The first one. Oh, at least they got the good one. <laughs> yeah, the second one sucked, but the first one, the first one was still pretty bad. That's some bad stuff in it. <laughs> Disgusting. Fucked yeah. up. Yeah, some really messed up things in it. But still, if you're gonna watch any of them, watch that. Instead of like a. 30 minute fight scene. Was mm. that? No, that was VHS. Was that VHS too? That was VHS 3. 
I don't know. That's a lot of shitty ones. Like, the first ones were good. Everything after that started to become shit. Ruined it. I remember when we watched ABC The Death too. That was shit. The so last one was pretty good. But just watching a whole bunch of shit to get to a really good one wasn't worth it. Uh, what else do we got? I guess we can get right into news. There's really there's not a lot of news to talk about because it's pretty it's the dead season. like a season. month, bro. Yeah, but it's the dead season for like stuff. Like for for uh what's the fucking thing? For I'm things. Talking? For um like January is dead for like retail and shit. And games are retail. So uh, there's a little bit of news that we'll pick on it um but there was some some cool stuff that i that nasa is working on that mm-hmm. i read that i want to talk about uh, apparently they want to get a real life cloud city above venus did you hear about this i think i did the like the first floating city yeah isn't wonder. venus atmosphere really thick though so it's like technically not even floating. i was gonna ask you i don't even know which uh is venus like, I think Venus. Which is Venus? It's second from the sun. No, it's like, se- what's special about that planet? Uh, I don't know. I'll go with its atmosphere. Venus, atmosphere. Is it Neptune that's full of water? Yes, Neptune's water. Because Neptune Neptune's is the... frozen, dude. Yeah, but it's water. It's just in the frozen state. Uh, denser. is much denser and hotter than the Earth. Uh, while the pressure is 93 bar, the Venus atmosphere opaque clouds made of sulfuric acid. Uh, yeah, I think its atmosphere is walk. You can walk on it. Is it habitable? Uh, no. No. We're gonna have to walk in hazmat suits. I just uh, said its clouds are made of sulfuric acid, dude. You would <laughs> melt, dude, if you went to fucking Venus. It's too close to the sun. It's like 200 some degrees or some shit on the surface. Uh, the depending- cloud planet work the cloud at, uh, at on the surface it is 462 degrees celsius apparently this so, is just supposed to be a big balloon if you thing. were between 50 and 55 kilometers above it you could live there temperature wise um <laughs> and you would between the sulfuric acid cloud layers and the sulfuric acid haze so if you could avoid melting by the acid, the temperature would be between 75 degrees and 20. 27's hot for Celsius, right? Uh, 27, no, that's about normal. That's like 70 okay, something degrees. Okay, at 55 kilometers high, 27 degrees Celsius is the thing. And the atmospheric pressure is 0.53 of Earth's. So, huh. I think it would be floating at that. But the pressure on the actual surface is 92 times that of Earth, so it's a solid. What would much. they even do on there if they know they're going to get fucked up? Research. Oh, sulfuric acid melted my, <laughs> melted have my no everything. They, do. they wouldn't make domes out of um, plastic. Wouldn't that wouldn't get melted? melted? No, sulfuric acid can't uh, burn through certain types of plastic. How else do you think they store sulfuric acid? We had uh, sulfuric Glass. acid at uh, work, and it's just in a big plastic uh, barrel. I failed science, okay? I don't fucking know. Well, we had sulfuric acid and chlorine, and chlorine's a really strong base, and sulfuric <laughs> acid's a really strong acid. And it's uh, stored in a big blue 50-barrel uh, plastic container. And we had a, a chain that went around the top of it, and the chain was, like, completely melted just from it, like, splashing out whenever you pulled the uh, hose out of it. So. And uh, another thing they're working on is a human ape type thing, and a human, or a robot ape and a robot human to help with uh, disaster scenarios by navigating places dangerous to humans. Isn't that what we have rescue dogs for? Yeah, but now they're doing with robots. A robot ape. Imagine earthquake. You get fucked up. Robot ape comes to save the day, busts him through the windows, <laughs> pounds on his chest like Donkey Kong, and fucking saves your life. I don't That's think they're going to... Yeah, Robo. I don't think they're... <laughs> Robo ape. Oh, what was that one movie where they gave like an ape a laser... That attached to his wrist or whatever. It was like a glove. Sounds like probably Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I don't think it was Planet of the Apes, though. 
and then, like he cut down a tree or whatever to cross a big pit of lava to help the humans at the end because he was uh like a mon- monkey they taught sign language to and like they trained him for whatever and gave him like a laser uh glove I would never give an ape a laser. Apes are pretty smart, dude. Yes, which is why I wouldn't give them a laser. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, be interesting. Let's fuck everything up. When I think apes fucking shit up, I think of that one game on PS1. The movie was Congo. Rampage, World Tour. Yeah, that, where they just fuck everything up. Congo, dude, don't they have to, like, shoot the fucking monkey, like, with laser guns and shit? I think. I don't know, but I watched a clip from it. Let's see. Yeah, they are using laser guns to shoot monkeys. <laughs> but I think one of the monkeys is on their side. The one they, like, ended up releasing into the wild. That's, like, a classic movie I have to watch. That should be tonight's movie. I have movie to watch it again. Congo. That's 1985? Holy shit. I've yeah, never it's seen it. it. It's I'm an watching... awesome movie, from what I'm I remember. Congo it's tonight. really cool. <laughs> I haven't seen it in forever. Bookmarking that shit. Right Such now. a random movie to bring up. Like, I know, know, dude. I don't. It's like one of the older movies I've always wanted to see that I've just never seen. I want oh, the new Drymon movies out. Awesome. Something real popular. Let's see what it got on the Rotten Tomatoes. And I am twenty-two. What? Rotten uh, Tomatoes. It's like they're too IMDb critical. He had five out of ten. Rotten Tomatoes is too critical. They shit on everything. Congo. This is like right around the same time Jurassic Park came out. Dude is literally mm-hmm. going ape shit over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah. Ape shit. But, uh... Uh, moving on to actual gaming news. Uh, first, last time we ended what's cracking during the Steam Winter Sale. What'd you guys buy? I didn't buy anything, I don't think. I know you didn't buy The Forest. Dang. If I had known oh. I could, you know, go to Russia Dang. and not even, you know, really go there, but just, like, you know, virtually go there, I would have bought it for myself, All right? But, you know, I was in the States living it up with my family. Sorry. Sorry. Loser. Fucking, oh. fucking loser. Not even a gamer. You're not dedicated. Just a casual. Yeah, just casual. Whatever. Casual mobile gamer. Get out of here. So, like, what'd you buy? A broken game called COD 4. Oh yeah, you did buy COD 4. It's not broken. You just like to break all your games. <laughs> it just doesn't work, right? I have bad luck with games. You do? Is it? A lot. That's fine. It's a good you game. Should work. Stop buying PC games, dude. You know when games don't break? When you're playing a console. <laughs> I don't know Sniper why Elite like runs like shit. Minecraft, yeah. broken. Speedrunners, broken. Hey, Speedrunners are working right now. Right yeah, now it's it was. It was like, must have deleted like some kind of like video driver or some shit. You know, that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's difficult. I don't even remember what. Today I to try to fix Minecraft, I uninstalled Java and reinstalled it, and it's still not working right. Didn't you buy another prison game? You buy like Prison Escapes or something? Me? <laughs> oh, you know, I bought it. Yeah, the Escapist or something. I didn't buy anything besides <laughs> COD Four. No, I swear you bought two games. <coughs> Hold on, where uh, can you check, so. like, the recently bought... You can go to your activity. About to do, sweet luck. Activity. Shows all your friends' activity, too. If you click on your wallet, you could look at your Steam transactions. There you can yeah, see. That's what I want to look at, because I don't even remember, dude, what I bought. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah, I bought Hateful Boyfriend. Was that... Oh, I don't bought, think it was part of the sale. Yeah, no, that wasn't that. Did I buy this? It was on sale the day after or something like that. Prison I bought The Protect. Escapist, Awesomenauts, Warlord, Scoop. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I bought Prison Architect. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I knew you bought something else. I forgot uh, about that. I haven't even installed it. Heck, I'm going to install that I right can't now. remember when I bought that. I bought it forever ago. Yeah. I it bought... Good? I haven't played it. No, I don't know. It I'm looks great. Right it looks now. Yeah, it looks like really good. Sim City for prison, so. Yep. <sighs> but South Park Stick of Truth. Was it good? I, Did you play it? I haven't played oh. it yet. I'm going to play it this week. I bought uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Played episode one. Really good. Really, I, 
really good. I I watched episodes one and two and three. I, I wouldn't enjoy that kind of game. Oh man, it was really good. It's funny. The characters are good, and uh, it's really good. I really recommend it. Uh, what else did I buy? Alan Wake. I don't know why I bought it. I think I bought it because it's really cheap. And uh, a couple other games. Those are the big ones that I bought. But I mean, I like a bandit. There was some, there wasn't as good deals as like I remember. I remember like, <laughs> last year, killer deals. This year, everything was so fucking expensive. I don't know if it's because <laughs> I'm on the Canadian thing and it's everything just jacked up. Yeah, I think actually uh, prices in Canada, like, I've been getting a lot of shit, like, on the the games that I play on my phone. Like, every one of them's got an update saying, like, prices have changed for Canada, and everything's gotten more expensive. So I don't know if, like, games in general have just gotten... They are. They converted it. They put a Canadian conversion. Everything's, like, 50 cents more expensive, which is... Yeah, Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. They're all about making that money. Which is dumb for something that normally would cost a dollar, and they're adding like fifty cents on everything. It's like in these fucking mobile games. I can't see how you could be a fucking freemium gamer in Canada. It's ridiculous. I would never be. It'd be fucking expensive, bro. I'm a hardcore <laughs> gamer. I don't play that shit. Oh, I'm a hardcore fucking mobile gamer and shit. <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> I play this shit to the extreme, right? I take my console, you know, attitude to the fucking mobile game, and I just fucking wreck it, right? Uh, so I guess we can hop into gaming news. Uh, first, Telltale making some pretty pretty popping games right now. Coming off Walking Dead season one and two, Wolf Among Us, uh, Tales of Borderlands just started, which I love. Um, they just announced their next one, which is going to be Minecraft. Oh yeah, the story right mode. About that. Right about that. <clears throat> what do you think? Hmm. As long as it doesn't break, I should like it. Are you going to buy it? Cause you, well, I probably. don't even think you would like it. Like, it's no, Minecraft, but you don't it's like It's story-based, it. so probably not. Yeah, it's if it's not Call of Duty, mindless shooting, you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, sweet boy, you take that shit. <laughs> it's fine, it's whatever. Took it. But, I uh, like Sid Meier, and it's not mindless shooting. You don't like strategy games, so... Nah. Answer doesn't like anything that he's not instantly like you know okay at like God. That's he was doing I... fine at Sid Meier. It's just Sid Meier is slow paced strategic planning out. And as soon as we started, he sent me an offer. He's like, "Let's go to war with these people." I'm like, "Dude, we're two steps into this game. He's like, let's war. go to war." <laughs> he, Fuck and then the, war, he then he uh, offered the bots to go to war with me. And the bots called him out. They're like, "You're a war mongol. Like, I don't trust and you." And then you know what? I declare war on Sweetla, because he's a motherfucker. Uh-huh, and you know what happened? I was like, all right, I'm going to make you pay. He's like, you know what? I'm tired of this game. I got to his city. I was about to take one of his cities. He's like, I've had another game. What really what? happened is he called peace, and I said, bullshit, I don't want to play this Yeah, anymore. all right. You're like, I'm getting tired of this game as soon as I got my soldiers to your wall. Because you wanted to make peace. About this Telltale Minecraft game, it's set in Minecraft, and it will feature an original story driven by player choice. And um, it's not an official story for Minecraft. I don't even, I don't know what it is. What would you like to see in the game? Like, what, if this is going to be the story mode, what characters would you like to see? What, What story would you like to see? I don't know. Nothing? You guys wouldn't like to see anything? Shit. Well, I'm not going to do it, so... No. Well, yeah, you don't care about Minecraft, so... <laughs> yeah. I think it's stupid. It kind of takes away the whole, like, point of Minecraft. It's supposed to be making your own stories and shit. As long as it has diamonds in it, I'll be happy. I think it's just capitalizing on a big IP. Um... But I think it is and it isn't. Because mine, like, that's one of those games you can, like... You can make up a fucking story for that, you know? Like, oh, why is a creeper green or some shit? Or why do creepers hate people? Why why does everything come out at night? Why do you gotta ask some damn questions, right? Exactly. <laughs> I want oh, these God. questions to be answered <clears throat> when I play the game. <clears throat> but uh, I think I'll actually bu- pick it up. Depends. I like Telltale games, and I like Minecraft, so... I use that same equation for the Tales of the Borderlands. I like Borderlands. I like Telltale games. What about? It? That's, 
And uh, they also announced that they're working on an original IP, which I think is smart because they're doing Game of Thrones, they're doing Walking Dead, they're doing Wolf Among Us, Borderlands, Minecraft. By the end of it, they're going to be just doing all these type of games for every series, and I'm glad they're working on something else that uh, can give them their own identity. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What? I got you. Uh, next... Five Nights at Freddy's, popular horror game, came out late last year, uh, took YouTube by storm, right? Just everybody and their grandmother playing it, literally, probably mm-hmm. had their grandmother playing it. Yeah, giving and her a heart sequel, attack, poor lady. Yeah, and then a sequel came out later, and apparently there's a third one going to be coming out soon. Um, they put up a little teaser image of uh, Freddy saying, I am still here. And uh, so it's definitely in production. The question about it is, do you think they're pumping them out too fast? As long as they're making money, they don't care. I guess, but what changes from game to game? It's more scary. I only played it like yeah. once. It was okay. It was nothing special. I haven't played it, so... You said know. you liked it a lot. Now you're going back here. Eh. No, yeah, it was interesting, but it wasn't anything like amazing or special. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't anything that just blew my fucking mind. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, YouTubers and their scary games, it's a big following. And uh, it's free marketing for them. So they don't got to do anything. It's like these people are going to make the games. People are going to play them. And then fucking profit. (laughs) I think it's smart. I think it's fucking smart. But yeah. I'd like some time to pass before we get fucking a sequel. It's been about, like, six months, and the third one's, like, gonna come out soon. So, just think of it like that. They're pump, pump, pumping them out. Oh, uh, what else do we get? Oh, this is a good one. Uh, Sony is gonna be launching their PlayStation Now subscription program. Well, actually, it already launched. It launched January 13. Are you guys interested in... This pers- in the subscription. Mm, I'm interested, but I don't care. <laughs> Sweet. I don't have a PlayStation 4, so... No, it's for PS3, too. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you don't know what it is. Isn't it where you basically rent a game? It's basically like Netflix. Well, no, it, it's renting games, yeah, because yeah. you got to pay for each individual game. I knew what it was. Or you can buy this whole subscription, then you get access to everything. So it's every month will cost you twenty bucks. And uh, that's and a then, box of candy. Yeah, that's, that's a box, box of candy, bro. <laughs> that's box candy. I know well, what decision I would share. make. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one you'd make too. But uh, twenty bucks a month to get access to a bunch of titles. Um, I don't actually don't know if it's on PS3. I know it's on PS4. Maybe it is not. No. It's available on PS3, me. PS4, Vita, and PlayStation TV. So you could play it if you want. And then you get, you know, open to all these games. So, Are you interested in it? I think it's... I don't know. I think PlayStation Plus is definitely the better deal of the two. If uh, Do you know how many games are available in their library for... PlayStation uh, now? Because it's a shit ton, dude. <laughs> over a hundred games are available. There you go, bro. EA, so. Deep Silver. I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I, don't know, I still think PlayStation Plus is a good program. Yeah, but now you basically have to have PlayStation Plus because you're playing oh, online. God. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, but that on top of PlayStation Now? You're going to be paying so much fucking money by the end of the year. Bro, games. No price. It's too high. All right. <laughs> hey, apparently it's too high for you, you mobile gamer. Fuck you. You know how much money I spent on these mobile games? How much? Let's let's talk about I don't, it. I don't even know, bro. It's Is it a dumb much. amount? Uh, for Puzzle Stupid Dragons. Amount. But seeing I've played it for like... Eight or nine months, and eh, I say it's a, a no, it's like a reasonable amount, dude. It's like 
you just gotta think of it this way i haven't bought any other games since i've really started playing this like i stopped buying steam games that i don't play anymore because i just never fucking played them you know and shit like that so uh, only about like 200 bucks so for in eight months, dude. Months for eight? eight months. Eight months. You know how much money I would spend on video games otherwise? Way more than $200. So, yeah. Gotta look at it that way, dude. Gotta look at it that way. Can you co-sign that, you mobile gamer? I haven't bought, you know, shit in a long time. I think I'm good. Like, I think I'm done for, like, for a long time, right? Look, so. I'm gonna be calling you a mobile gamer for a long time because... That's fine. Because, That's let, me, fine. let me explain why. Because you despised it, and then you became what you despised. No, because they finally upped the fucking production value on some of these fucking See, games. Like, they weren't just trying this? to cash out. Right? He did hate mobile gamers, and no, now no, he plays a lot. Is Puzzle oh. Dragons a, a mobile game? No, no. Is it like a... a uh, is it like a real shitty quality game that somebody just like shat out of their fucking ass in an yeah, Is it like Flappy right? Bird? <laughs> no, it's not like Flappy Bird. Well, not like mm. game type, but dude, Puzzle and Dragons probably has like the highest production values out of almost any free. They actually game. had to think about all the characters and how they would coincide with each other. <clears throat> dude, there's so much work they put in this shit. They had to. If they're gonna be making like fucking, I don't even know how many millions of dollars a day now. Fucking, <laughs> like they have to fucking put work into it, dude. It's not like fucking some bullshit. All right. Yeah, it's probably like one of the most thought out mobile games. Mm-hmm. Like on the developer side, at least, like programming wise for each and every mm-hmm. little character and how they work. You brainwash and they your got, buddy. Uh, they got a that? fucking <laughs> console version coming out, dude. They've already got a couple in Japan for 3DS, dude. Now they're coming to America, so I don't. I don't think experience. I have a more complicated, like coded wise game on my phone. There you go. Are you gonna right. buy a 3DS? Hell yeah, I'm gonna buy a 3DS. God, so you can stop calling him a mobile gamer. <laughs> Hell yeah, shit. You can get off my nuts, all right? God. <laughs> I will finally get off your nuts if you get a 3DS. I will, yeah. I'm planning on getting one the next time I go to the States, like this summer, probably, all right? So. It's a pretty long yeah. time. Get it while you're in Japan. The game Isn't it doesn't. Cheaper? Uh, yeah, but Nintendo's fucking retarded and they region lock their consoles so I could only play Japanese games on it. And yeah, I want to get the English version. So <laughs> the English version doesn't come out till like May, so I only have to like wait a month after it comes out to get it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Till then, you'll be a mobile, mobile gamer. Fuck you. I'll go buy a Japanese 3DS right now just to say that I fucking play this game on 3DS, right? I encourage you. Help out Nintendo. Shit, buy a mm-hmm. console. No, I was, you know what? I'm gonna be stuff. honest. I was actually thinking about getting a Wii U. Really? Yeah. Bro, Wii U's getting some good games, dude. I want Super Smash Brothers so bad, like. Ugh. Cause I was thinking about it, and um, I was listening to some podcasts. I don't remember which one, and they were talking about like gaming in general and all the different consoles and stuff. And they brought up some good points. You know, Wii U and Nintendo. They take their time with games. Yeah, it takes forever for them to come out. But you know once you get them, they're going to be good. They're going to be special. Mm-hmm. People are going to enjoy it. Where, like, some of these other companies just shit out a fucking game. And people buy it, and then they bitch about it, and stuff like that. So I was like, maybe I need to get a Wii U. Maybe I need to play some Mario Party, Mario Kart. Uh, don't get Mario Party, please. Why not? Uh, that's... That's terrible. It doesn't matter how much time they put into making a Mario Party game. It's always going to be fucking terrible. I like those type of games. No. It's good if you're, like, playing Fuck with somebody you. you're going to, like, gamer. have sex with later, okay? God, that's, the only, that's the only <laughs> excusable time. Well, I mean, if it comes with Mario that, Party I might give me a, a Wii U. No, I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, but I've actually considered, like, looked at it like, oh, how much is a Wii U? Well, it's a pretty good amount. They're not cheap. Yeah. They're not expensive either. No, but they're not cheap. They're like you gotta wait for a le- you gotta wait for a good lineup of games, dude. That's all. And, and that's I, they're getting year. there. Yeah, they're getting there. There's gonna be a lot of titles coming out this year that are Nintendo IPs that people have been waiting for for goddamn ever, and it's it's gonna be good. I was never a Nintendo fanboy. I never played Nintendo. Like I didn't give a shit about any of the consoles. As a PS1 guy. Never strayed away from it. Played Nintendo 64 if one of my friends had it. But 
dude, I love Nintendo. I grew up with I that grew, shit. I never grew it, up with it. It pained me to see fucking, like, what they were doing with it after, like, Nintendo 64. Like, GameCube came out, it was pretty shit. The fucking Wii came out, it wasn't, like, the most amazing thing ever. It was great for, like, a few minutes, and then I was like, okay, this is stupid. And it's just, and then the Wii yeah, U. Yeah, a little bit of fun with the Wii. Yeah, a little bit of fun with the Wii, but I can't sit in front of it for hours like I would like a PlayStation game if or something. If you have a family to play it with and just do like the Wii Sports and stuff, that's probably about all you can do. <sighs> yeah, I can't sit there long enough for to have fun with that shit. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a family r- system. So you wouldn't yeah. buy a Wii U? No, now I'm I'm also considering a Wii U. I'm not going to do it while I'm in Japan because I, I, I refuse to buy a fucking TV. All right. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, yeah. It's pretty I cool. thought about it. I mean, I definitely want a PS4. I even thought about an <laughs> Xbox One. Yeah, going home, my brother got a PlayStation 4, and yeah, playing that shit. I played a little Destiny. It's alright, it's interesting. It made me want to play, like, you know, hardcore games again, but I just I can't do it as long as I don't have a TV. Like, I gotta have the, that multi-targeting, you know, like entertainment being blasted at my face. I, I can't just sit down and buy play a TV? Game. I don't want to buy a TV and watch Japanese TV, bro. God. God. Don't watch you Japanese pay TV? For play, play games? Game. This is what you do. You get your laptop, you I know. stream whatever. You got your TV, you play games? Ah. Dude, I don't know the breaker in my apartment could handle all that shit. Like, <laughs> I really don't. Actually really? Don't yeah, the breaker in my apartment is like set to like half or like a quarter of what it would be anywhere else like that's just japan and uh yeah well how much can i run i can run my laptop my heater and my table that's got like a heater in it and then if i try to like run the microwave or something it'll shut the breaker off, <laughs> it'll turn off. so i don't know I, breaker, dude. so I laptop can, i can't switch that yet my laptop TV, my heater PS4, my laptop same. and two heaters dude so if it wasn't winter and i didn't have to like survive with like you know heaters and shit i could probably i could probably okay, do so it so like, you can be a hardcore gamer during the summer <laughs> during then, three months of the year three seasons of the year yeah. you get spring and spring and uh, summer <laughs> you get a little bit of fall uh yeah. God. no i don't need any more excuses to like you know stay inside spring i need to go no, no, I need to, like, you know, I'm in Japan, goddammit, I should, <laughs> I should be going out and doing j- Japanese shit, so. Stay indoors Japanese for safe. people play games, what the fuck? Yeah, but, I, <laughs> like, you know, when it's a nice day, I mean, not like today, where it's fucking frozen-ass cold, and, like, the winter is the best time to play games, but I can't do it, because I gotta survive, I gotta put my heater on, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't, I really don't think my breaker could handle it. Like, I could probably have all that stuff in, like, separate rooms going on at the same time, but in one room, it probably wouldn't, yeah, probably wouldn't make it. That's crazy. Just don't play in your kitchen. Yeah. Well, that's my living room as well, so, you know. <laughs> it's all the same system. Where's your bedroom? Wait. In the fridge? No, my bedroom is on the other side of the house. Okay? God. <laughs> Just checking. Just checking? Just checking? Good. I'm glad, bro. It could have been in the fridge. That would have been weird. Yeah. Yep. Well, you, do you saw that stinky room? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it stinks anymore, though. I haven't gone in there in, like, a year and a half, so... <laughs> oh, my goodness. You Dude, I just... This stuff's gonna be dead. No, it was just, like, a weird, what like... there's someone living in there? Yeah. <laughs> what if there's a hobo in there? He just stinks out every time you go out. I don't know. I'm on the second floor, so he'd have to work real hard. To, Dude, you know. I fucking saw a video like that. Creep me the fuck out. I don't need to see that shit, dude. I'm good. Dude, there's this chick. I think it was a chick or... It was a dude. He had an apartment. And uh, whatever. Does stuff. During the day or night, he would notice stuff's missing. Food's missing. All this kind of stuff. So he put cameras. And uh, under the sink, this person would live. And under then... The sink? What the fuck? Yeah. And then would come out, like, at night <clears throat> and eat and stuff. I got creeped out. I was That's, like, Whoa. how do you not know someone's in your house? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. There could well be somebody living in that room in my house, dude. I don't go in there for any I mean, reason. There's at nowhere. All. I feel like I would definitely know someone's in my house. <laughs> it's creepy. 
There might, you know what? Live recording. Let's see if there's someone in the room. <laughs> I'm no, good. I'd have... rather just not know. I don't hurt him. He don't <laughs> hurt me. We both get along. Good. <laughs> I know there's not anyone in my house because my dog would find them. Like, mm. yeah. Maybe he's friends with the dog. You don't know. <laughs> he sneaks out at night and feeds my dog. <laughs> he bribes my dog. Oh, I wonder what they had for dinner. Oh, shit. Make a play for me. Make a play for the dog. I mean, it's possible. You can definitely bribe my dog, man. My dog's just a big baby. Yeah, see? Stuff. <laughs> Stuff, yeah. Stuff. Might be somebody Word. in your house. You ready for that shit? <laughs> Check under your sink, folks. Check under. Oh, well, we got some more gaming news. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what I else do we get? Somebody may be living <laughs> in my fucking house. They would hear this, right? Where's the uh, room in accordance oh, to you? Yeah. It's right across from me, dude. It's right. Connected Are you looking me. at it? Yep. Is it hey, buddy, you hear me? <laughs> no, no, not creepy. What if the door starts to shake? Oh, my God. I'd freak the fuck <sighs> It's a sliding door, dude, and if they got it open, I've got shit piled in front of it, so I'd have plenty of time to, like, you know, just ready myself. <laughs> Unless they're a fucking jaguar or like a panther or some shit. I'll be they're quick. They've been training for this moment to kill you and take over See, your house. There's identity. nothing in there but a table, dude. So they've been like lifting weights and doing squats. He's been lifting shit. that table. <laughs> Good for him. He's ready. <laughs> Taking you out. That's fine. <laughs> Gonna fuck you up at the table. <laughs> it's a big table, dude. I don't even think the table would fit through that door. I don't know how they got it in that room because it just doesn't. He'd have to take the legs off and shit. I don't know. He's gonna stab Maybe you that's with why the legs. it smells, because there's a fucking homeless person living in there. No, it's like an old rice smell, dude. It's like the, the tatami, the, the flooring. It's made out of like this like stuff. and There was like apparently old one in there, and they just put new one on top of it. And I think it's, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to smell it again, so. <laughs> All right, well, the person that lives in Kuda's closet, well. Live there peacefully. A whole room, dude. It's not a closet. A it's whole a big room? room. Yeah, it's a big room. It's like a... Fuck, yeah, it's really big. Do you have a room that's not being used in your fucking apartment? Cause dude, my apartment's made for like bitch. four or five people. I don't use like two of the rooms in my apartment. <laughs> like, Why don't you have a roommate then? Why don't you rent it out? Yeah. It does. I don't, I don't pay any money for this place. I can't rent it out. It's owned by the city. It's, like, I don't... Well, you'd be like, hey, you want a place to live? Give me money. No, the only good I have with all this space is if anybody wants to chill for the night, you know, I got lots of room for them. No, nah, bring like, be like, bring your air mattress. Uh, since you're living here, all I'm gonna make you pay for is food. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's not like anyone would notice. I know, but I can't. I mean, you haven't even noticed yeah. the hobo living in there, so. There's no hobo living in my room. All right. <laughs> Could be a serial killer hiding out. Yeah. Well, good. We're best buddies, and he doesn't want to kill me then, because <laughs> I would be irresistible to a serial killer. I just, I know it. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> have fun. Spending I will have fun. If you don't hear from me, me, like, you know, two or three weekends, you know, you know, fucking guy living in my house got me. Hey. What should we call him? One one out. Hobo Joe. Uh, Hobo Joe? Hobo Joe. Like, Hobo Joe's on a killing spree. Hobo He's Joe on the loose. I'll even make a wanted poster for him. I don't know what he looks like, but I'll make one. <laughs> I know what his eyes look like, so I got that part. Good, that's good. a fucked up joke. <laughs> hey, that's a racist, funny joke. You're supposed to laugh. No, I live where all the people that would find that offensive, you know, live. So I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Anyway. Yeah, it was hilarious. Wow. Ooh, it was all right. It was all right. <laughs> Sweet luck. One of your favorite games that we play. Is getting a third one. Sniper Elite Nazis on the Army Train. It. Okay. Not Just playing. got announced. I'm Looks not awesome. Playing. I'm not playing. Looks amazing. I'm not playing it. Has zombie I Hitler. I am not playing it. <laughs> what if he really buys good. it for you? All right. Because I, I know he's going to buy. It. Yeah, I'll give it right back to him. I'm not playing it. <laughs> it actually looks really good. I watched some gameplay. Because what he did, the sniper elite, nice zombie too. He snuck it in. He like he was like, here, just set this game. I was like doing something else. So I just clicked yes. <laughs> I did not fucking do that. You knew what yes. you were getting yourself into. No, <laughs> no. You oh, snuck it in. I'm sneaking in anything. But the third one looks really good. It like 
You know, the second one, I'm going to admit that first mission was boring as fuck. Oh, God. The third one actually looks really good. They're getting new enemies. Zombie Hitler, that's an insta-buy for me. I don't know about anybody else. Um, it, just, it looks really good. It looks like they actually went all out with this fucking game. It's one of those games I would never buy with, like, money. <laughs> with, like, money? Yeah, with like money, I would never, never buy that shit. And space bucks or something? Yes, fun bucks. That's good. Okay. Uh, what else do we get? Oh, a new Friday the 13th game is in development. And the reason I brought this up, it actually doesn't sound too bad. So what it's going to be is it's a multiplayer game that lets players choose between Jason, or you can be a survivor, a group of survivors, and... Uh, yeah, basically like um, Evolve that's coming out, where you have like the monster and then the survivors, and uh, that's pretty cool. I, I think it's pretty like cool. It. And uh, there's a couple games out like that, out like out there like that already, but uh, this one sounds interesting. Uh, they haven't announced the um, the actual studio that's making it, but it's said to be a, an experienced studio, so that might be good, might be bad. I don't know. And uh, it's supposed to come out October of this year. No shocker, right? Damn, all the way. Let's see what they did there. Oh, fuck yeah. I was hoping for Easter, but fuck it. Oh, yeah, Easter. (laughs) Oh, what else do we got? Could you ever hear of a game called Seaman? Yes. Is that coming out again? Are they re-releasing it? No, but Damn it. <laughs> developer of Hotline Miami and the Talos Principle, Devolver Digital, uh, recently tweeted at uh, the developer of Seaman asking if they could remake his game. Oh, so we're going to remake it, so it's like a fucking And the developer new said, uh, hi, for smartphone? And they're like, maybe PC and smartphone? Maybe you can play Seaman. On your stupid mobile, mobile device. Oh, that'd be so awesome, dude. Is your is your device smart? Yours yes. Is, yeah. It's it's pretty smart, bro. Smart mobile. Okay. You might be able to play Seaman. <laughs> if you don't know what Seaman is, it is a Dreamcast game, uh, where you had this fish, and had a human face. And you talk to it. And it does stuff. Yeah, like what was the? You have to raise it and interact with it, but. Like, what it's was really the... weird. I don't know. It's always been on like weird games lists, and I've always wanted to play it. But I was never going to go buy a Dreamcast for that shit. So if it gets remade, are you going to buy it? Definitely, yes. And uh, I saw another article kind of in relation to this, which I thought was pretty interesting. I think everyone can go for this. Uh, which modern developer would you have develop a classic game? What? Like, okay, so that was made by Sega, Dreamcast, a long time ago. They want to remake it with a new developer. So, think of the game like Mar- like Mario developed by uh, Ubisoft or something like that, you know? Oh, fuck Ubisoft. Um... This is an example. So, think of a game, and th- or think of a developer you like, and think of, like, <sighs> a bitchin' game that they could, like, remake. Dude, it'd have to be Nintendo... There's like a Nintendo game. Nintendo, yeah, I would definitely. Have oh, to, to make or their, one of their IPs to remake. Both, fuck it. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> does the best classic games, dude, and they got the best IP list, so it's just yeah. Hands down, no competition. I have mine. What? Well, you're just gonna be like, oh, that's stupid. Well, but, if it's stupid, maybe. <laughs> but um. I would have Rock City, which is the makers of the Batman Arkham series. Probably have them do, like, a a Spider-Man game. Mm. Oh, so it wouldn't actually be a classic game. It would just be a classic IP, is that what you're saying? Well, you can do that, but I think they can make a bitchin' Spider-Man game. There was, like, a good Spider-Man game on the PS2, wasn't there? No, it was PS1. Mm. I just wonder if it was a good PS2. Well, yeah, there was Ultimate Spider-Man. I really enjoyed that. I thought I don't remember which one I liked, but there was a really good one. It was, I liked it a lot. I'd right, like a Power Ranger game, like a good one. I don't know who would have developed it. Maybe, 
I don't know. Of oh, Power Rangers? Yeah. Like maybe an open world type. Open world? I don't even know what kind of game I'd want it to be. Yeah, because you could go so many different ways. Like a beat em up? No, have I wouldn't want to. Beat em up, dude. <laughs> It'd have to be. Hmm. I don't know. Be different. I have no idea, yeah. Because did you think of one? Mm, I don't really care. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what it is you're trying to do here. But, yeah. Okay, pick a classic game. I'll pick one for you. Castlevania Harmony of Despair. Now That's pick... not a classic game, but whatever. Okay. Um... I mean, it's a classic style game, but it's not Pac-Man. Really a classic game. Pac-Man, what the fuck? That's okay. a classic. Or Sonic. Let's take Sonic. It's a classic game. And you pick a developer that you think could do it justice by remaking it. Uh, yeah, I really don't think anyone can do it better than the actual developer, the original developer. So You're yeah. a fool lame right now. No, I just don't see anybody capturing Then the pick original... a different game, fuck you. No, oh, it's okay. No, I'm talking about any game in general. If it's an original IP, what's making asking... what what he's saying is it, what makes it original is the way that it was made, and so nothing can beat it. Yeah, I mean, if they try to remake it, it's gonna be yeah, a different pick game. Like a, it, a shitty, whole... yeah, like ET. I don't know. The guys that did fucking Double Dragon Neon, they did a good job of recapturing, you know, what Double Dragon was. <clears throat> there you go. So wait, what would you have them make? I don't know, another Double Dragon Neon, shit. (laughs) Another Final Fight, there you go, Final Fight. There you go, that's a good one, see? Get off my nuts, God. (laughs) Uh, What else do we got? Oh, two more gaming things. Some some big ones, actually. Uh, Some some information has been uh, announced about Uncharted 4. First... Nah, no, no real shocker. It's gonna have a multiplayer mode. <gasps> Dude, Second I wasn't. Had... Oh, I didn't know. I'm blowing. And uh, and they actually announced like the the synopsis for the fourth one. Apparently, uh, it takes place three years after Uncharted Three. Drake and Elena have gotten married, and uh, spoiler much, Jesus. Drake's brother, or older brother, assumed to be dead comes back into his life they have to find a legendary pirate artifact and uh his life hangs in the balance and just like that he's back into adventure and then so you're gonna be with his brother you go into places like madagascar you're looking for a pirate ship um and then there's like other adventures looking for the treasure and uh what do you think sounds good are you excited about the multiplayer? It's uncharted. No, I'm not excited about the multiplayer. I thought the Uncharted multiplayer was always pretty solid. Dude, it's always good, but it's not the main reason I buy the game. Yeah, I've never been like, yeah. holy shit, I can't wait to play that multiplayer. <laughs> God, this never happened, so... But, I don't know. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Multiplayer's gonna be good. Story's gonna be good. I hope. I don't know. What don't you want to see? Do you want to see him live happily ever after? I don't care. I just want it to be good. <laughs> I don't care what happens. I just I want to see it. I want to do it. I want to be Nathan Drake one more time. And then there's Sweet Luck, who's never played an Uncharted game. I've played them. Which disgusts me. Haven't beat disgusts them. Disgusts me. There's a difference. I've played them. Haven't beat them. You don't own any of them. And I don't own any of them. Ugh. You filthy creature. But I have played them, so you cannot say that. I have played them. It still hurts me. You can buy the fucking trilogy for like $15. Dude, oh. do it. Spend a weekend. Just fucking... Just, oh. Here, this is what you do. You buy PlayStation now. 20 bucks. You get the month. And you play Uncharted. 1, 2, and 3. Oh my god, it's worth it right there, bro. It really is. <laughs> And then you eat your nature box and your snacks and your <laughs> peanut butter nom noms. You're good. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Sounds good to me, bro. That sounds I'm actually like thinking about going and sneaking me a pizza. Pizza. I'm getting a little hungry. 
Oh, we're going to have to run a mile after that shit. Yeah, that's no, uh, Bro, no. The pizza from uh, Pizza Hut is... It's terrible. <laughs> it's really not that bad it's in calorie-wise. It's shit. It's greasy, but it does not have that many calories. I it's just really it. bad for you because it's greasy. But you calorie get stuff crust? No. Uh, you got to get crust. stuff crust. That's the only re- these reason. Okay, so pan crust pizza from pepperoni pizza, one uh, medium slice. Uh, two slices is only 500 calories. Honestly, if you're in, if you're really in a Pizza Hut and you're not getting the, the stuffed crust, I don't like stuffed crust. Fucking crazy! You're fucking crazy. One slice yeah, is 250 like calories. Either. No, like it. it's cheese. Cheese is good everywhere. Dude, but it's like the nastiest cheese ever, dude. It it's like bad. not even real cheese. It's, it's like not good. It's and not good. Thing, just the thought of it. Just the thought of it. And what makes pizza so bad is the sodium. Although it's only 500 calories, it's over 1,000 milligrams of sodium. Yeah, don't worry about sodium. Japanese people have, like, the highest sodium intake out of any, like, people in the world, and they live longer than everybody, so I'm convinced sodium's not that bad for you. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go get me another slice. Free. Um, uh, no, Glenn's, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I am going to have me another slice, because I have... Make your wiener shoot up. I can have 670 more calories before I go to sleep, so... That's at least a slice of pizza, and then I'm not even going to have milk with it, because I haven't it's had milk It's not healthy in- to eat before you go to sleep. Uh, Actually, doesn't matter at all. You don't burn it off. But. No, it doesn't matter. It's calories in, calories out. It doesn't change anything. It sits in your body. You're not moving. No, it doesn't. Oh, my God. No, you're wrong about this one. No, you're more, fucking you're more likely to store it while you're sleeping. There you go. It doesn't mean anything, bro. Yes, it does. It means your body's more likely to turn it into fat than it is then when it's awake. Oh, no, no. Because your body's doing as little work as it can, and so it's not taking the time. So, so. calories in, calories out, though. I know, but it's less uh, calories out because it's storing all of it. No, it doesn't matter. If you eat th- that many calories, like, five hours before you go to sleep, it doesn't matter if you still have all those calories. Okay, but your body processes it differently. Doesn't matter. It's just the point that you're probably eating like extra compared to what you normally be eating. That's the only thing. And if you do that any time during the day, it's gonna fuck with your fucking everything. It doesn't matter. Trust me. Doesn't matter. It's like what they used to believe. No, that's like an older, older way of thinking about. Google it right now. Go for it, and you'll probably get all this misinformation shit. Right? Make sure it's from a reputable source. Yeah, I'll get it from a health website. Good be not a health forum either. Okay, I want doctors. Mm-hmm. Last is. but not least, for gaming news, <laughs> the creme de la creme, the thing people have been waiting for since I don't even know. And wait, did GTA Five come out in 2013? No, that'd be. I don't even know when it fucking came out. Heists, <laughs> heists are finally coming. Out. Finally. If Gunny was here, he'd probably scream like a little girl. Cause I know. Oh! Thank you. Fill that did in I, for him. Did I capture the essence of Gunny? <laughs> Captured. I felt like he was here. He okay. like came through you. The Holy Spirit of Gunny. Just came through Kuda. Oh, there you go. So look, like, how do you feel about heists? Finally. It's about daggum time. <laughs> Finally coming out. Was it worth the wait? I'll we'll have to wait to find oh. out. <laughs> you have to wait even more, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll have to. Oh. It's supposed to be any week now. It should be out. So that's good news. And um, so yeah, heists are finally coming out. I watched. The, did you watch the trailer on it, sweet? Um, I probably it, did, but it's been a long time. It looks fucking awesome. You got the guy who's the planner, and then you got everyone doing missions. And there's even missions where like. Okay, even though it's your whole crew of four, two people are going to go do something, like steal a car or set something up. It's going to be cool. I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to play it. And um, one thing about Grand Theft Auto V that I thought was interesting um, was not all of the new GTA V updates are going to be coming out for PS3 and Xbox 360. They said eventually... We're going to stop updating those. We're going to focus just on the new consoles. How does that make you feel? Kind of not of a shock. Damn. Damn. I thought he 
Okay. I'm trying to find this. Sorry. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Look, fuck it. We'll just we'll break even. We'll say both of you are right. Both of you? Are, am I arguing about something? Yeah. Was I? <laughs> I don't think I was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That you don't I... store it when you sleep. Oh, okay. I was like, I totally forgot about all that shit. But, uh, are you interested in buying, uh, are you going to buy Grand Theft Auto on the PC? Both of you. Mm, maybe. Mm. I'm more likely to buy it than I was, like, previously. I don't know, because it probably won't work. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is what you do. You get Kuda to check it out and see if yeah. it works. And then Even there, it doesn't no. matter. His yeah, sniper league matter. works fine. I know. <laughs> God. I don't know. You did something. I didn't do any, like, I literally didn't touch Minecraft for two weeks. I'd go to start it, it doesn't work. I haven't messed with any of its files. I hit play, and it's like, nope, not even gonna launch for you. It'll start the program, because I can see my task manager, and I'll see Java pop up, and then it'll disappear. It's like, bump you. You haven't played me for two weeks, you're not gonna play me now. Oh, it's all those games you downloaded when you shouldn't have downloaded them. (laughs) Don't give me that, man. That's the only difference between me and you, bro, on our p- computers. I'm, as far as I know, I don't know what other shit you download. But <laughs> Poor. Uh, I don't download that. You're stupid either. if you download that. God. <laughs> you are. Yeah. It's free. Right? <laughs> yeah. Freaking go to the YouTube version of, you know, that stuff. You porn. Great site. I don't use that, but okay, whatever. Is that you with the letter U, or is it spelled out? No, wide? like, think it's YouTube. Probably both. <laughs> think YouTube, yeah. but drop the tube. Yeah. Put in- okay, all right. Clear my schedule for this afternoon, Miss uh, Heckleby. Right. It's a good one. Yeah. It works. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for gaming news, really. There wasn't a lot, but we stretched it out, because we just branched, we're off, awesome. branched we off into talk different a lot. stuff. You, we know you like to hear us talk. Uh, next, we got movie and TV show news. First, Gotham came back. Only for one. Like, I thought it was dumb. It they was came like back, and done take a Probably. week off, and then they're going to be back next week. It's like, why not just not just be there for the two weeks? <laughs> I don't even remember the episode. Me neither. I'm going to be honest. I fell asleep. I'm not enjoying Gotham. I'm, I'm not I enjoying it. I watched it. I don't remember it. Um, Arkham mm. Asylum, the guy goes crazy. I think he kills somebody. Oh, where he hypnotizes the guy? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it was. Yeah. I'm gonna. Be, I don't. Enjoy I don't like. Gotham. I don't like Gordon being the little punk guard. We need to go back to the detective work. He's not gonna be a guard for much longer. He better not be. It's annoying. It's like I don't want to see the prison guard. What the heck? I'm glad that uh the prison uh what's it called the head guy of the prison got killed though. He was a dick. Which one? The, the uh, chick. No, the uh, the guy when uh, Gordon's uh, old partner came in, he was like bossing around. I think he was black. Yeah. Oh, black the guy. black. Okay. At yeah. The asylum. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad he died. He's a douchebag. Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah, he's like, you think this is as far as you can fall? I will make you go further. You will be homeless. And Do life. you enjoy Gotham? Mm-hmm. Really? Uh. I'd rather watch it than random crap on TV. I feel the same way. But. I'm you don't enjoy to... your time while watch it? I do not enjoy watching I think Flash is a lot better. Flash is a lot better. Dude, I've heard good things about that. The guys from Prison Break, they're teaming up again. To, you know, yeah, they're going to be villains. On that show. I told you this. You didn't give a shit. So I stay didn't out give of a shit. Right. Stay out of this. I saw an article, though, and it got my... Shit, flawed. Gangster, oh, God, as man. much as you like Flash, watch the Arrow, man. I don't it's... give a fuck about Arrow. <laughs> they co- I don't know why you don't, man. It's so good. Because Arrow's lame to me. He's such a boss, though. No, he's not. <laughs> you saw him when he was fighting the Flash. He was a boss. Kicking Flash's he's tail. He's poor man's Batman. That's what he comes off as. Did Batman? Uh, or, no, wait. The Arrow fought, uh, what's his name? For the last episode, um, Brazil Ghoul. Yeah, I just saw some stuff about uh, what's gonna happen when it comes back. Yeah, because he fell he fell down into the uh, pit of whatever where he can like 
Fountain of Youth, basically. The Lazarus Pit. Yeah, he fell in that. Off a giant cliff. So I don't know if impact kills him or... But it's you know not. he's not gonna fucking die. <laughs> no, he's not gonna die. When I seen him get like... One, when he like, boop, like he did this. This is Sparta, basically, off that mountain. I was like, dang. Is Ra's al Ghul cool? Yeah, he's a boss. He's old. He's old, though. How, I don't know how old he is in the show, like his age. I think it's like 500. He's old. Jeez. <laughs> he's oh, 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 <laughs> gee, shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vampire but, status. Yeah, but uh, the arrow gave him a good fight. He got some good hits in. I'm excited about Flash, but I heard about this upcoming mid-season. Oh my god, the whole like I just I just want to keep watching. I want to know the p- stuff with the parents, the reverse flashes. Like, yes, I want to know that, and then it uh, keeps me more enticed compared what to I'm, awesome. what I'm thinking is going to end up happening is when they do the Flash Arrow crossover again, it's also going to involve the Atom. Hopefully, maybe he gets his own show. Because it will, because Adam focus. came in on the last episode of The Arrow. I like, asked. You said he didn't do anything. He didn't get the oh, costume. They, he didn't get the costume, but they like revealed him basically because he was like, this is a suit that I've been working on, and this is what I want to help people. I want to be a superhero. And he was like, I'll call it The Atom. It stands for or whatever. It's an acronym. He's definitely going to turn to The Atom this mid-season. Yeah. And, of course, the Arrow's girl is working for him, and so she's got a type. She likes superheroes, apparently. Guys, did you know it's Gunny's birthday? <sighs> is it? I think they yeah, go off. Yeah, today it is the 18th. <laughs> I think they go off. What's Yeah, mine didn't go off either. It'll go off later, I'm sure. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gunny. Gunny. You He's old man. 22. Guys, as old as you. When this comes out, it will not be. It'll be the day after his birthday. But hey, you can leave it in the comments, some birthday wishes, and I'll make sure that he sees it. And he's spending it with his girl. Yeah. God damn it. They're out Fuck watching him. a movie, I think. Right. Yeah. So, Gotham sucks. I hate it. I really hate Gordon's girlfriend. I, I just hate that character. <laughs> the freaking bi. Yeah. This just... his wife, isn't it? She's like married. bipolar as shit though. Like I like him, I don't like him. I like him, I need to be with him. I don't like. Yeah, him. I need to know everything. I can't handle the truth. Like, <laughs> woman. <laughs> She's oh, really boy. annoying. She cheated on him, and then, and then she got like really attached to the freaking cop, and she was like, I shouldn't have done this. She was like, Oh, you feel like that? You crazy son of a gun? Like, I'm leaving. No, stay. I, no, I'm leaving. No, stay. I'm letting you have this apartment. Stay. Like, oh my god. Flash is the way to go. I can't I'm wait. Just ready. It's gonna be I'm ready soon. for his wife to get killed. That'd be great, too. Yeah. Because I don't think it, uh, he has a wife later on, does he? Uh, he has a daughter. Turns into Batgirl. But is, is his wife still there? Or are they, like, broken up? She dead? What? Because I'm ready for her. Uh, like... I don't know. I think Joker kills her. Oh, I was thinking, like, one of the big-time bosses uh, on there to kill him. He's going to be like, all right, time to go. Do I read work. something in the comments, like... Uh, someone hopes he hooks up with the doctor at that place, and then Barbara gets killed, oh, and then they have a kid, yeah. and then he names the kid Barbara in memory of her. And then That, goes, that doctor was hot. Way better than his wife. Yeah, she's cute. So, And then, you know, they click and click, because even the patient was like, get a room when like they were helping out. So. Yeah, so hopefully that happens so we don't have to suffer through that. I hope bitch. they at least hook up before he sees his wife again. So he can throw it in her face like, oh, you cheated? I cheated too. And then she's going to be like, and then his wife's going to be like, I cheated with a girl. And he's going to be like, and you didn't invite me. Me but. too. <laughs> I cheated with a girl too. Yeah, I cheated with a girl too. <laughs> Something in common at least. So there's that. Uh, what else do we got? As far as TV news, uh, something that was actually pretty interesting. The Walking Dead, of course, is getting its own spinoff show. Um, is actually going to be taking place in L.A. Is that a good location for a zombie apocalypse? Sure. I don't know. I think it's... There's, when I think L.A., I think busy. You know? It's busy. Lots of people, bro. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people. And they already killed, yeah, like... As far as zombie outbreak to start. Yeah. But after years? No, it'd be deserted. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good place. I'm interested in the show. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, another thing I'm interested in. 
Did you hear about, uh, you know how Marvel's developing some shows for Netflix? Yeah. Daredevil. It's going to be coming out soon. The movie sucked. April 10th. They're going to be releasing the 13 episode season. Why are they doing it just Netflix style, though? Oh, they probably paid them a lot of money. Because you think they get more views off TV. And, and Netflix. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Like, what you get, or minus, like, the positive minuses of yeah. Netflix. I have no idea. I'm excited. I, it's in my calendar, April. I saw some pictures. It looks good. You gonna I'll buy Netflix? Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of I'm gonna get my free month trial, <laughs> and I'm gonna watch all the Daredevil I can. Uh, but yeah, there's that. that. That was the last TV show thing. Uh, now we can move on to movies. Uh, probably one of the biggest things that happened around this time was the interview, the whole FBI, North Korea cyber attack, all this type of shit. Lots of publicity. They even canceled the movie. It wasn't even supposed to come out. And then Sony's like... Er, Obama was like, hey, Sony, don't give in to these fucking terrorists. We need to see the interview. And they're like, okay, we'll release it on like YouTube and a bunch of other online platforms. And uh, voila, it finally came out. What do you think of the movie? Was it good enough for all the hype? <laughs> yeah, well, I will say it was a Seth Rogen, James Franco kind of movie. I don't like them, so I didn't think it was that good of a movie, but if you like them, you would like that movie. So, that's my take on it. There was a think? few funny parts, but not my cup of tea. You like it, Kuda? Yeah, I liked it. I mean, it, the hype definitely wasn't, like, you know, there for me. Like, I don't understand all the hype. Well, the hype was... Hey, it was got just... overhyped, but that was just the... That was it's because it's putting him in a negative light. Mm, no, it just it got so overhyped because of all the issues and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it was a good movie. I liked it. You watch any other movies during your Christmas break? Uh, the Vampire, know. What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, yeah, that was a pretty good movie, too. Was really American good. Sniper, you watched that, right? Yeah, uh, that was really good, too. <laughs> uh, what did I watch? I watched The Man from Nowhere and John Wick. John Wick, John awesome. Both solid. Uh,. What else did I fucking watch? I just watched some random stuff. I watched Man on Fire again. That was really good. Uh, Excuse me. There's one more I watched. Didn't you watch The Gambler, Kuda? Yeah, it was alright. I watched Big Hero 6. That's good. God, I need to watch that. That's on my list. Is it worth it? It's worth the watch. I enjoyed it. I liked it for the end animation though so i like anime animated movies so. i watched yeah it's a really good animation movie because it's by uh you call it pixar i think it's pixar dreamworks which one uh it doesn't you say... answer me you bastard or... okay, but... <laughs> i watched annabelle that was a giant piece of shit didn't we try to watch it one time and we just yeah but it's really it's... quiet yeah, I think it is Pixar. And then I just watched it by myself, and it was not worth it. Did you watch Birdman? No. No, I haven't seen it I want to watch Birdman tonight. I don't um, want to watch that movie. No? It's got so much hype, bro. Yeah, Hard? it's winning like, all these type of awards. I mean, that's not why I want to watch it, but... Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think that's... I watched bad. Boyhood recently, or... Yeah, I think you know the one where he was like a kid and they recorded a him kid for and it goes years. all the way up yeah 13 years yeah that's really weird <laughs> it's pretty good I enjoyed it uh, I tried to watch Dumb and Dumber 2 I couldn't I fell asleep during it it was terrible dude it's like pretty it. good it's pretty good it had some okay parts, but for the most part, it sucked. It wasn't worth, like, 20 years of waiting or however fucking long it yeah. was. <laughs> but it was still pretty good. So that means in, what, like, 20, 40, you know, it'll come out at 3? Yes. <laughs> Ridiculous. They're going to be dead, by the... They're going to be yeah. dead. <laughs> or dead, yep. That was also a possibility. Yeah. So those are just a couple movies we watched. 
Uh, movie news. Let's talk about some movie news. Apparently, there's a Monopoly movie being made. God damn it. Uh, okay. <laughs> How? Is it, uh, it going to be like the Lego movie? I No. They're comparing it to Goonies. Which makes me... Huh? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. But apparently they're going to be shooting this summer. Cool. You know, whatever. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, Born 5. I know there's some... Well, Scorp's a big... Uh, Born Legacy, whatever fan, and it's cool you are too, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's not like my, I'm not, I don't care. But you never <laughs> had anything bad to say about them. Oh no, yeah, it's a, they're decent movies. I'm not. But uh, they announced that bad. there's never going to be a crossover between Matt Damon and and whatever Jeremy Renner. Does that make oh. you sad? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> makes him sad. Makes him a little bit sad. Uh, what else? Speaking of a little bit, Ant Man oh, trailer. Speaking of a little bit, <laughs> Ant Man trailer. You like that? That's a pretty good uh, segue. It was almost. It could have been better. Kuda, was... not Kuda. Fuck Kuda. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My superhero brethren. I like the Avengers. Just hey, FYI. Fuck, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's superhero talk. Now. What do you think of that? He wasn't part of the original Avengers movie, right? Just saying. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I wanted him and Wasp, dude. Aren't they always, like, fucking... Yeah. Ant-Man rides yeah. flying ants, bro. I think he's well, supposed to be a part of the Avengers eventually. Ant-Man? Yeah, Ant-Man and Wasp. They're supposed to be fucking... No, know, they are part of the Avengers, but I think they're joining it, like... Yeah, the I wanted them one. there, like, already there. No, not uh, the second one. Third one. I don't know. There's rumors that Spider-Man is going to be in the third one. <laughs> I oh hope he's God. not. It's going to take some doing, dude. It's... Fucking I Sony owns that shit. Dude, they actually released... I don't know if it's real or not, but it seemed real. They released, like, the whole... You know how there's a storyline from each movie that's kind of building up to one thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't spoil anything, though. They revealed it. I don't know if it's real, though, so I kind of want to. But it, it, don't, just in case it is. <laughs> All I'm going to say, know. it's going to be pretty interesting. There's going to be a lot of heroes. And, uh, yeah. Was it stage two or three in the Marvel? Well, stage two's done. This is stage three now. Black Panther, all the Ant-Man, all that shit. But, uh, anyways, Ant-Man trailer, what'd you think? Um, I don't know. Mixed a little bit on it. Me too. I feel the same way. I mean, I'm not hyped into this. Yeah, I'm not, like... It's not like seeing a new Iron Man movie. Like, all right, I want to go see this in IMAX when it comes out. I'm hoping it's like Guardians of the Galaxy. From how so? Uh, like, I never, I didn't have any expectation for Guardians of the Galaxy, and then when you go and you watch it, it's like, holy shit, this is amazing. Well, I, I heard I that hope... Guardians was awesome, so when I went there, I was like, this is gonna be awesome, and it was. I was like, yeah. I hope Ant Man's the same way, but I think it's it could be hit or miss. I mean, yeah, it's really gonna. Because I don't feel like there's going to be like a lot of big action scenes. There is a villain. It's going to be Yellow Jacket. That's the name of the villain. He's got his own suits and shit. And uh, I don't know. It, it didn't do it for me. It didn't get me excited. About it doesn't get you hooked, like wanting to know. The trailer. So hopefully, hopefully maybe the next trailer will be like giving me a boner and shit for this game. It was but... nothing like the Avengers trailer. How about that? Avengers trailer, it was like let's go. Even the, yeah, the second one was pretty intense. With the trailer. Hulk suit and ah yes. Yeah, Ultron and shit. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. That's a good way to describe it. That Hulk suit, I wanna, I wanna go. <laughs> so it was, it was an interesting trailer. I'm excited to see the next one. Uh, the next trailer, and then last but not least, uh, movie news. Big another big superhero movie confirmed. Gambit will be getting Boom! his own. His own movie. I love, I love Gambit, dude. And so. uh, October 7th, 2016. I don't get all this hype for Gambit. He's fucking awesome. He's Cajun. Why is he awesome? He's a he fucking French guy. It's not French. That has Cajun. a fucking totally trench coat different. and cards. It's not French, bro. He's from New Orleans. He's redneck French. 
the best kind, bro. It's a combination. I don't know. The hype, like, and it's going to be Channing Tatum who plays him. I don't know what's that like. Channing Tatum. Who's Channing Tatum? Um, 22nd Jump Street, 21st Jump Street. Yeah. Uh, That stripper movie. G.I. Joe. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Mad Mike or whatever. Is Mad- yeah, yeah, Magic Mike. I wish he wasn't Gambit. Uh, he's not Gambit. He's, not he's Gambit. A more of a comedian kind of guy. He's Gambit. He's going to be Gambit. So you got like a Gambit movie, all these X-Men movies, a Deadpool movie, another Wolverine movie is going to be coming out. And uh, did you actually hear in the comics? And I watched a video on it today. Uh, Marvel is fucking over all... You know how like Fox owns all these different IPs and Sony owns Spider-Man and shit? Mm-hmm. Sony is, or uh, Marvel is just killing them all in the comics. They killed Wolverine recently. They've canceled Fantastic Four, which is owned by Fox and... Wolverine's owned by Fox. I thought you they, didn't read comics anymore. I didn't, but I keep up with the news. <laughs> uh, I don't read little. comics. I read comic news. Okay. They're going to kill Deadpool <laughs> this year. What? Why are they killing them all off? Because they don't own the rights to make movies for them. Yeah, and it's pretty much free marketing. Okay, but aren't they making Deadpool movie? With, uh... No, that's Fox. That's Fox. Yeah, it's not oh. Marvel. So they're killing him in the comics. They canceled Fantastic Four. You can expect Gambit to be killed in the fucking comic soon, then, with his movie announced. So do you think if they sell him the rights, they'd bring him all back to life? Probably. And they ju- Oh, another thing they announced in the comics, that uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, like, Magneto's not their father. So technically, they're not humans. Or mutants. I'm sorry, they're not mutants. So... I think it's funny that they're going to. Are they technically not mutants? You don't have to be the son of a mutant to be a mutant. You can just be your own, right? Uh, Is that how mutants are? They're just normal, thought to be normal kids, and then later realize they have superpowers. I don't know how that works. Because otherwise, all the parents all the way back up would have some kind of superpower. Maybe there's like some pure blood mutant. You know. Yeah, there's like I think if you if you're a mutant, you probably get a mutant child, and if you're human, like. Less odds are less. Yeah, okay, but uh, so they can still be human. was their father. Well, he thought he was their father. But... Okay, he's not. So it doesn't mean they're not mutants. Like they, it's not. If, they, if you have superpowers, you're a mutant. Yeah, I don't know. That's how it works. <laughs> you know it means different. No, there's the, the X gene. That's what makes shit. them a mutant. The X. Okay, but the X gene gives you some kind of superpower or super ability. It gives you a mutation. Yes, and that's why you're called a mutant, really, because you're really different than a human being. Right, I don't know. fucking know, okay? Leave me alone. Go ask Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. Stop out-nerding me. Ah. <laughs> Go ask Stan Lee, okay? Go fucking email him. Stan Lee is awesome. He makes all his appearances. That's what's up. Yeah, he does. I, I think because they feel bad for him. No, it's because he made them. They're like, respect, thank you for the money. I don't know. It's like, oh, yeah, this old guy, he made them. I guess we can put him in. That's that's how I feel like. It. It's out of respect, I feel like. Like, thank you. For I feel like Stanley was like, you want to make this movie? you got to put me in it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that, too. He was like, I'm I am going to be yeah. in this movie. Was well, he going to be in the Fantastic Four movie, then? Even though yeah, he was, the he was in the first Shit one. Shit about Fantastic Four. Yeah, dude. he was in the Fantastic Four one. Mm-hmm, he delivered the mail. It was Milma. such a shitty fucking movie series, dude. It all sucked. I think there's a new one coming out this year. I mean, and they've just been terrible all of them. It's a reboot. Fuck it, shit. Dude, there's no way you can make a guy who can stretch and his wife who's invisible and fucking... Fire rock and rock guy. Interesting. You can't make it interesting. Yeah, it, you really can't. Human Torch on his own, you can. Well, if they had that actor, I thought he did a very good job playing yeah. Human Torch. I just feel they need to let that shit just the go. The rock, no. I... Well, I don't think that's why they're canceling, but that's like that was like the first comic. That was I like saw one thing. It was like the comic. perfect like uh what like made up couple or whatever. It was the uh the Rock, the Stone dude, and that uh, mythical lady where if you look at her, you turn to stone because he could. He's the only person who could actually like date her. Uh, what was her name? Medusa. Medusa, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I'm not excited about Gambit. I'm kind of not excited about Ant Man. Avengers should be cool. What else is coming out this year? You know Avengers, Avengers is going to be Avengers good. Avengers 2. Just because it leads into a bunch of stuff. That's it all. It leads into the part 2. 
Well, not even that. It leads into Isn't this Black part Panther. One? It leads into like the next Captain America, which I'm really excited Isn't about. Isn't Avengers two part one of the war? No. Avengers, Avengers three, three is, part is part one, and then Avengers four is part two. No, Avengers three is going to be a two parter. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be part one, and then Avengers four is part two. No, it's going to be the same movie. It's just two parts. Oh. Because you say Avengers three part one, then Avengers four part two. But it's just Avengers 3, Part 1 and Part 2. But I'm saying it's going to be the fourth one of Avengers. Oh, yeah. The fourth Avengers. So. A lot of superhero movies coming up. I'm excited. I'm excited I'm not excited. Who am I kidding? I'm excited. <laughs> I've been hey, waiting Yard. years for this shit. I can hear your bummer from time. here, man. Jesus. About time. Look, these... It, it took for, like, one movie... To get popular, and then they just started fucking pumping them out, which I'm excited. I'm glad. I'm glad superheroes are finally, a, like, I don't know, being brought, being shared in a good light. That's a good way to explain it. Being shared. It's good. So that's gonna be it for what's cracking ninety nine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now let's talk a little bit about what's cracking one hundred. One hundred. Let's crack in 100. Now, there's no specific date for it yet. We're gonna we're gonna do a uh, an own video. We're gonna release a video announcing what's cracking 100, with the dates. Everyone's supposed to be there. They given me their word that everyone's supposed to be there. Biggie, I don't think Biggie's giving me his word, but I hope he shows up. You got any tunkum score? I'll score? make him. I'll show up at his workplace. I'll be like, hey, you promise we're gonna start messing stuff up. And yes. Complain to your boss. Hopefully Accidents every- happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be ashamed if something happened. So what's cracking 100? Everyone's going to be there. It's going to be live streamed. We're going to be doing giveaways. And there might be Are some Are we going to be answering stuff. questions like people ask us? Oh, but yeah, probably. We'll do some Q&A stuff with the chat. We'll be interacting with the chat heavy. So, yeah. Uh, so look forward to the channel. Um for that video to come, we've got a lot of good stuff coming up soon. We just finished Borderlands, a pre-sequel. We finished Xenoclash 2. We finished Transformers War for Cybertron. That hasn't been uploaded yet, but that'll be going up soon. And uh, we got some new series going to be coming up. We and, got uh, some of the good series coming up. Well, once it's you're excited about. I'm excited about it. So, got a lot of good stuff coming out. Hope you guys are excited for what's cracking 100. Finally made it. And uh, it's going to be a huge celebration. And I hope you guys are excited. So catch us next time. Keep up with everything that's going on the channel. And until then, guys, peace out. Peace.